Hello friends, welcome back to Target Study YouTube channel. As you must be watching this video, sitting in your study room or somewhere at a very calm place, you must admit that disappearance of the joint family system, habit of remaining in oneself, highly competitive environment, stressful working conditions are taking their toll on the nervous system of the human body, causing a number of degenerative brain disorders. Thereby, increasing the demand of qualified neurologists in the near future. This unfortunate demand of neurologists has made this an in-demand care option among the medical aspirants. Because a neurologist is a medical practitioner, expert in diagnosing and treatment of disease and disorder related to one of the most delicate and important parts of human body, that is, brain and central nervous system. Our nervous system plays a significant role in our body, so it's important to have someone to take care of it whenever needed. And that someone is neurologist. If you are one of those who wants to become a neurologist, then keep watching this video. Because in this video, I'm going to give you information about every single aspect of a neurologist. Like who a neurologist is, what are the eligibility conditions to become a neurologist, how to become a neurologist, a neurologist's job description and responsibilities, his or her career prospects, average salary, and much more. Now, first of all, let me tell you who a neurologist is. Neurology is the branch of medicine that deals with the anatomy, functions, and organic disorders of nerves and the nervous system. And medical practitioner who specializes in neurology is called a neurologist, or you can say, that a neurologist is an expert who specializes in diagnosing and treating disorders related to human nervous system. What are the eligibility conditions to become a neurologist? Candidates who want to become a neurologist must possess a five and a half years MBBS degree followed by two to three years MD medicine or DNB course. After attaining the master's degree, candidates have to do DN neurology to specialize in the field of neurology. Which skills are required to become a neurologist? To handle patients with neurological disorder is really a huge task. And to accomplish it, one requires a different set of skills. If you are looking to adapt this profession, then you must possess an excellent ability to judge human behavior, zeal to work in trying condition, genuine care, and concern for their patients intellectual ability to apply the concepts of neurological medicine, ability to find solutions to problems, and deal with people from all walks of life. Besides these mandatory skills, the prospective neurologist must have knowledge of latest medical developments in the field of neurology and be confident, strong decision maker, excellent communicator, and emotionally strong and mature enough to be able to work under pressure and have the stamina to work long hours with strong ethics. How can you become a neurologist? To become a neurologist, you need to follow few steps. And the very first step is to clear plus two class with physics, chemistry, and biology as main subjects. After clearing your 12th or while you're appearing in 12th class exam, you need to clear some of the medical entrance exam so that you could get admission in MBBS course of the reputed medical colleges in India. NEET UG, which is conducted by the National Testing Agency, is one of such medical entrance exam that enables you to get admission in most of the medical colleges across India. You can also appear in AIMS entrance exam or JIPMER entrance exam if you want to get admission in these reputed independent medical colleges. These exams are generally held in the month of May or June every year and are taken by almost all the medical students. After completion of this four and a half year of MBBS degree course and one year and six months long compulsory training, one has to go for MD medicine. Here again you need to take entrance exams like NEET PG and AIMS PG entrance exam to get admission in PG medical course. However, some institute may also provide admission on the basis of marks obtained in MBBS course and work experience of the aspiring candidates. The next step is to enroll for DM Neurology. 
a three-year course in your field of interest. After completion of this three years GM Neurology course and getting the requisite registration from the Medical Council of India, the budding neurologist can get jobs in reputed government and private hospitals like AIMS, etc. What are the responsibilities of a neurologist? Main responsibilities of a neurologist are to diagnose complex medical problems by referring to patient's history, examining them and conducting neurological tests. Counsel patients on neurological disorders and its background. Order neurological tests and interpret the result of neuroimaging studies. Prescribe and or administer treatment and medication. Monitor the behavioral and cognitive side effects of treatment and medication. Order supportive care services for patients and participate in neuroscience research activities, etc. Now let me tell you about some of the top medical colleges that offer this specialization. There are numerous government and private medical colleges that are providing specialization in neurology. However, some of the best medical colleges that you can think of getting admission are All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi Postgraduate Institute of Medical Education and Research, Chandigarh Shrimati NHL Municipal Medical College and Bangalore Medical College and Research Institute. What are the career prospects of neurologists? Career prospects for neurologists appears bright in the coming times due to rapid increase in patients inflicted with the disorders related to the nervous system. Qualified neurologists can get placed in the neurology department of reputed hospitals like AIMS, Max, etc. More enterprising neurologists can also open their own clinic. Those who are interested in academics can also opt for teaching jobs in different medical schools and colleges and teach their students basic techniques and treatments related to neurological disorders. Research is another option for the genius in this field. Now one of the most asked questions. What is the average salary of a neurologist? Neurologists in government sector can expect to get nearly rupees 50,000 to rupees 60,000 depending upon his experience and expertise. Besides, they are also entitled to government accommodation and other perks as admissible. However, experienced neurologists engaged in the corporate sector can expect anything between rupees 1 lakh to rupees 1 lakh 50,000 per month. A neurologist with an excellent track record running their own clinic has the ability to earn much more. That's all from this video guys. I hope you find this video informative. For more such videos, subscribe to Target Study YouTube channel. And to get regular notifications, hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching.